Good afternoon. This is Brian from the Scott Coin support team again. Uh, this afternoon I'm going to go through a quick video on how to reset your MetaMask wallet uh, when you get a failed transaction and it just sits there for ages and won't clear. Now, as you know, Scott Coin is becoming Scott Coin V3, which is an ERC20 token, and we're moving from the counterparty system to the Ethereum blockchain. Now, what's MetaMask? It's basically an Ethereum wallet compatible with ERC20 tokens, available from MetaMask.io, which I'm just going to show you. This is a website you can download it for a web browser, Apple, iPhone, Android users, and it works on Chrome, Firefox, and Brave, even though it doesn't say there, it works on Brave. Uh, to install it from uh, the Chrome web store, you just type in MetaMask, you choose this option here, make sure it's metamask.io and not this one. Within a minute or two, this little icon appears in the top right hand corner of your screen. So you just click on it and it asks for your password or to import using account C phrase. Or you can download it on the smartphone for Google Play Store and iPhone users can now download it from the Apple Store. Now what's the problem that can occur? When you send some Scotcoin V3 or Ethereum from the MetaMask wallet, if there's not enough Ethereum in your wallet and you don't use enough gas, then the transaction won't be picked up by the Ethereum mining pool. It will stall and fail. Now on these, uh, this video I'm going to show you how to clear that and reset it. Now the Ethereum pool is this is just like a little picture to show you what happens with Ethereum. You start your transaction here, it goes through this process, lands in the pool, see all the transactions here. Now the transactions with the highest gas price gets picked first and the, the transaction goes through faster and gets added onto the blockchain. Now what's gas? It's basically how a transaction fee is paid if you transfer coins or tokens on the blockchain, then it needs a small fee. Now, in our case, it's Ethereum. This is called gas. Now, basically, if you want to go into it, there's advanced options that allows you to set the gas price and the gas limit. Now, originally, I made a video with these values in here, but since then, the transaction fees have increased considerably, so you need to a bit more Ethereum in your wallet to make sure the gas price is enough, so the transaction will be picked up and actioned. So what's the solution to the problem? Fortunately, MetaMask have provided a feature in the settings to reset the wallet. This will clear the transaction, it will also reset your whole wallet, so you basically need to back up everything in your wallet before you do this. Make sure you've got your 12 word passphrase, obviously. And I'll show you how to do this. So you just go to the MetaMask app. I've got a test account set up here, so I've got 12 words here. Just basically a blank account. Just put your 12 words in there. Choose a password. And then click on restore. That's me logged in. Just gonna quickly add the, the Scott coin one. Right. So supposing you've got some Ethereum in here and some Scott coin in here. You make a transaction, it just sits there pending. You look on etherscan.io and the transaction's just sitting there for ages, hours and hours. So what you actually do is you go to this icon here, 
beside where it says main ethereum network click on settings click on advanced then reset account now it warns you resetting your account will clear your transaction history so make sure you keep a note of all of that you know if there's any transactions you want to remember about keep them in a spreadsheet or whatever then just click on reset <clears throat> now what should happen is after a few minutes it should reset and log you out of the account so you just basically log back in with your 12 words again and your password and restore that's you back in your wallet you just want to add your uh, Scott coin back in there you just go to ether scan.io type in Scott coin put capital C for Scott coin this is the transaction that starts with 0x28 copy this using that icon back to MetaMask, put in a custom token, put the address in there, auto fills Scott and six decimals of precision, click next, add tokens, back to your account and that's everything back to normal. So next time you make a transaction make sure you've got enough Ethereum so you just click on buy and you can buy from any of these three or if you've got another uh, exchange where you buy Ethereum from would then do that. Make sure you've got enough Ethereum in there the next time you do a transaction and this problem won't happen again. Finally, any questions then email info at scottcoinproject.com or visit us on our social media channels facebook.com slash scottcoin, twitter.com slash scottcoinproject or visit our website scottcoinproject.com. Have a good afternoon. Thank you.